Now fly into my arms. Come on, fly! Fly like a bat! Dad, this is stupid. It's not stupid. It's fun. Now come on! Every young vampire must learn how to fly. So why haven't you taught me yet? Oh, Ingrid, I've told you. It's because you're a girl. Look, I've got to get to school. You did it. You flew. Yeah, from the table to the ground. Oh, my son and heir. Where's my money bag? Dad, for the last time, I can't believe it. I can fly. You're not seriously giving him ten pounds for that. That's so unfair. Oh, Ingrid, darling. I shall never understand this irrational jealousy of my favorite child. Now, Vlad, let's see you flying from up there. What? Um, yeah, come on. Let's see you in action. I'd love to, but I'd better not be late for school. Bye. I wouldn't be treated like this if Mum was here. Well, she isn't, is she? It's a tough peasants. Dad, what are you doing? Shh. Vampire surveillance. Look, can't we give Selene a rest? No, we can't. I know Vlad's a vampire. I just need to prove it. No, what you need is help. Ow! Thank you, boys. Just down here, I'll be fine. Not you, the bag. Go on, scram. Ooh, someone got their cough in the wrong side. Ingrid's just sulking, because I can fly and she can't. You'll be flying out the window if you carry on. Oh, and uh, by the way, Mum says hello. Mum? You've spoken to Mum? Yeah, I've asked her to stay for a couple of days. You did what? Don't you want to see her? I'm sorry, which mum are we talking about here? Because I'm thinking of the backstabbing witch from hell one. Cool. At least she sounds like a proper vampire. I mean, you two haven't got a fine between you. Just you wait till I'm 16, Branna. Are you okay, Vlad? Yeah, why shouldn't I be? the one and add up the columns which makes 3,921. Correct. Wow, I never realised doing homework could be so much fun. You're joking. I'd rather have my tongue pulled out. Oh, don't say that when Mum gets here, Robin. Wouldn't want to give her ideas. You really believe she's going to turn up? After all the time she's let us down? Mum doesn't care about us. She ran off with a werewolf. Get over it. Werewolf? This gets better and better. Is he coming too? Ignore her. My mum is not coming to stay. Hello, darlings. Oh, is that the time? Come on, Robin. Mum, I've missed you. I hate living with Dad. There, there. Don't cry. Mm. No, really, don't. It's for such. And how's my little Vladdy? Goodness, haven't you changed? Not that much, I haven't. Oh, Vlad, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Who let the skunks out? Oh, it's you, Mistress Magda. So you're still around, are you? Take my case up to the spare coffin, surf. I'll see you all at dinner. Or for dinner, even. Your mum's awesome. Yeah, isn't she? Dad's gonna be so pleased to see her. <laughs> but bun buns. Don't call me bun buns. Now go on! Back to that manky dog you left me for! Well, Patrick and I have been having some problems. Well, you just thought you'd come crawling back to me, eh? I thought I'd pop in for a drink and a chat. I brought her favorite tipple. French aristocrat, 1792. There's a spare towel in the airing cupboard, but if I catch hide or hair of that werewolf, 
You're straight out the door. Psycho. Wow. That's beautiful. Just seeing the two of you back together. I am so over her. Did you think there was a bit of chemistry then? Is this your idea of a sick joke? <laughs> Their mum's favourite. You know what I mean. Dad's just going to end up getting hurt again. Dad, the cold-hearted prince of darkness. Oh, ah! His trousers are pinching a bit. What are you wearing? Mm, old stuff, eh? If Patrick can pull it off, so can I. Ow! Dad, you don't need to dress up. Just be yourself. You and Mum are meant to be together. Yeah, until she left us. Stop being so negative. Don't you want us to be a family? Not if she's going to leave us again. And she will. The last thing we need is another full-grown vampire roaming around trying to bite people's heads off. Oh, come on. How many people have I attacked since we got here? Dad, we've had 11 different postmen. Master Vlad does have a point. Hey, let's get rid of her. I can put garlic in a soup. Renfield. Do you want these worms in your face? I'd, I'd rather eat them. <laughs> you hear that, you know? Another innocent victim of the evil count, Dracula. You actually saw him bite someone? Yes. Sort of. No. We'll sharpen the wooden stakes. The guy's clearly a vampire. They're all vampires, Jenna. There's even a mother vampire. Heard it with my own ears. Dad, trust me. I spend all day with Vlad. I think I know if... That's it. What is? Well, here's me doing all this secret surveillance stuff when you're in his class. Jenna, you are going to be my mole. Mole? I'm not being anyone's mole. I'll be your special agent. Hey. That's my boy, special agent. Code name, Mo. So, how do I look, Vladdy? Desperate, fantastic. <laughs> Mum's never gonna come back and live here. And why would you want the world's worst mum back anyway? She's selfish, manipulative, and totally evil. Hi, Mum. Vlad, darling. Why do you hate me? I don't hate you. I just don't want us all to get hurt again. I mean, how long are you going to stay this time? Well, that's down to your father, isn't it? I know I've been a bad mother, but we all make mistakes. I just wish we could be a family again. Well, Dad's not falling for it this time, are you, Dad? Oh, Magda. Oh, oh Bun Bun. Welcome home. Right, now Mum's back. I want Vlad's room. I think that sounds fair. Hang on. Dad gave me that room, didn't you, Dad? Oh, Vlad, just do as your mother says. But, Dad, it's me, your son and heir, Vladdy. You're not going to let him take away my room, are you? I'm going to a chat show next week. It's called My Mum's a Two-Timing Blood-Sucking Vampire and my dumb boy sisters asked to live with us. Vlad, get over it. Mum's back. Yeah, of course she is. Until the next full moon when she runs off with another werewolf. OK, firstly, that's not going to happen. And secondly, I've got your room now. Sucker. Right, that's it. I've got to get rid of her. Are you serious? Yeah, it should ruin everything. Dad's already thrown me out of my room. There are worse things that could happen. It's not just that. She's done this ever since we were little. Turns up, promises the world, then leaves. I can't go through it again. OK, it's a bit radical, but there is one way you can get rid of her. Remember what your dad was saying? That if you find hide or hair of that werewolf, Magda would be straight out the door. N nice idea, Chloe, but where are we going to find werewolf hair? Uh, uh, I'm just going for a... Uh, uh, no! 
And then, of course, we'll need a bigger coffin. Magda, please. I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> what was that? It sounded like a... Werewolf here. All over the upstairs bathroom. What? I mean, I don't mind you sneaking your boyfriend in, Mum, but tell him to keep on the plug hole, yeah? But bum bum. Go out, witch! Dad, please, just give her one more chance. And you can give that room back to Vlad. What, just because Mum betrayed us all? Yeah, I did try and warn you this might happen, Ingrid. Ah! Bun buns, it's still daylight out there. I mean, where am I supposed to go? It's not going to work. But you're always saying we should help the homeless. I'm sorry, Robin, it's a nice idea, but we can't have just any old tramp. <clears throat> homeless person staying in that... <laughs> Graham. Please, allow me. No, I, I've got it. No, 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 I've got it. No, I, I let I, it go. I, no, I, I'm, I'm sure I can look at it. I just, just let me. So, Vlad, now we know the truth. Truth? What truth? Not the werewolf hair. I'm sorry you had to find out about your mother in that way. Oh, yeah. You defended the family honor, and you know what this family means to me. Dad, I'm leaving. Right, cheerio. I'm not joking. Either you let Mum back or I'm walking. OK. Oh, and Ingrid, close the door when you leave. Right, you've asked for it. I'm going to the Branners. At least I'll get some attention around there. <sighs> there must be something in this house I can eat. Sorry you didn't like the cabanara. Ah. Who's this, then? Oh, that's us at our wedding. I bet you broke a few hearts when you got married. Actually, we never got married. I couldn't see what was in it for me. It's a celebration of love and commitment. And if Dad dies, Mum gets everything. Robin. Robin. Excuse me. Really? So if I was to marry County, for example, and he happened to meet with a violent accident, I'd get the castle. Yes, but it doesn't look like he'll marry you now, though, does it? Oh, don't all rush at once. Chin up, Magda. There are lots of people who give the right arm to marry you. Yeah. Well. It's the neck I'm after. Mum! Ingrid, what are you doing here? I've left Dad. From now on, I'm going to be living with you. <sighs> Wonderful. the middle of the night. Oh, exactly. Time for your next flying lesson. What? Go out, boy. Fly. Fly like the wind. But Dad, I can't fly. But I gave you ten pounds. All right. I lied. Oh. Oh, well, never mind. Night, Vladdy. Is that it? Aren't you at least going to say you're disappointed? Well, how could I? I mean, if it wasn't for you finding that, that werewolf hair, that cheating mother of yours would still be here now, running her ice-cool fingers through my hair. You really love her, don't you? Love her? Whatever gave you that idea? My flat. Yes, you can carry my bag. Sorry, why do you want to carry a bag? No, just wondering, what's your mum's favourite music? I'm doing a compilation CD. What, for my mum? 
Sad, isn't it? Do you think she like this? All right, Ingrid? Yes! How's Mum? What do you care? Well, I just hope she wasn't feeling too guilty, you know, about the werewolf here and so on. Mum's fine. She sends her love. Really? What do you think? So there's your target, Agent O. Go over there and get them talking. Find out if the mother's arrived. And remember, act no more. Huh. Look who's talking. What's up with you? Nothing's up, apart from ketchup sandwiches again. So no twinges of guilt about the werewolf here? No. I definitely, definitely did the right thing. It's just, Dad does seem really upset. Mm. I mean, what if him and Mum were meant to be together? Hey, dudes. <laughs> Mind if I join you? Yes. yes. Thanks. So I hear your mum's visiting. You hear it wrong. Hey, Vlad, does your mum like slugs at all? Robin. Oh, right, yeah. Mum's a word. Absolutely. But it's so cool having a living at ours. Robin! Robin! Really? No! You suck with the devil and you'll become one, you fool! Do you have any idea what was in that sandwich? Some more ketchup. And half a beetle. Ugh! Come on, let's go. So it wasn't blood then? Of course it wasn't blood. Maybe you're just not cut out for this, Jono. I mean, what have we learned from all that? Nothing. Oh, so you knew Vlad's mom was living around the Brenner's house, did you? So it's true, then. The Countess herself has come to town. I think it's time we paid her a visit. Vermin busters. Clever, eh? And you reckon we won't get recognised? No. Bye, Mr Van Helsing. Right, that's it. I'm going home. Jono! No, Dad! You're just so embarrassing. From now on, you're on your own. Goodbye. Good afternoon, madam. Vermin bus is here. I believe you may have some unwanted guests in your house. I beg your pardon? I'm here to exterminate all vermin. Vermin? Yes, vermin. Pests, parasites. No, I'm sorry. I think you may have got the wrong house. Behind you. Vam I mean vermin. Vermin. What, Magda, you mean? How dare you? She may come from a different culture or heritage, but that's no excuse for bigotry. I'm sorry about that, Magda. Call me for free extermination. Good day, Mr. Vermin Buster. I'll put this rubbish straight in the bin. Actually, no. I'll take that, thank you. I may have some vermin of my own to attend to. So the twins are not falling at your feet anymore. I thought they really went for the whole vampire look. They do. So what's the problem then? Mum is the problem. I wish I'd never asked her to stay. Yeah, well, I did try and warn you she might be trouble. Trouble? She's a selfish, heartless old witch. And you know what? I'm glad Dad chucked her out. Really? Yeah, she deserves everything she gets. So, if, for example, it turned out that I hadn't actually found werewolf here in the plug hole. Vlad. Did you or did you not find werewolf hair in the plug hole? Not such. No. <laughs> you little maggot! Well, no, like you said, it's a good thing it happened. She was bound to have left us sooner or later. But what if it had worked out this time? We could have been happy together. I know. I messed up. I'm sorry. Maybe there's a way we can fix it. Your father sent me this. You know, Mum, I think he still loves you. You 
Your mother sent me this. Yikes, she must really hate me. No, Dad, it's a token of affection. If she thinks she can win me over with some cheap bit of fluff. Darling, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Marry me. Marry you? Well, of course, we don't want to rush things, but how are you fixed for tomorrow night? I can't believe this. Mum's going to stay forever. It's like a fantastic dream. A nightmare, more like. Vlad, wake up. Your mum's up to something, I'm sure of it. Chloe, don't interfere. This is my big day. I mean, Vlad's big day. No. How do I look? Cool. Darling, your phone, it's, uh, Vermin Busters. Ah, yes, the DJ. <laughs> mm. Freddy. Vermin Busters. She's going to marry the Count and then bump him off. Wow. That's really evil. And wrong, of course. So, after the ceremony, I will lure him upstairs. You spring out, slay him, and the castle shall be mine. And what's to stop me from slaying you as well? Hmm? I'm joking, obviously. Upstairs. What are we going to do? There's only one thing to do. Tell Vlad. today to witness the joyless union between two vampires. Get off! Van Helsing! Is that you, Dracula? Skulking around in the dark like the dead rat you are. Well, prepare to meet Van Helsing. You know, Glad, I'd get that old sewer chute blocked up if I were you. Yeah, someone could have a really bad accident. <laughs> hey, Vlad, high five. Sorry, I don't see what's to celebrate, Robin. Well, we've beaten Van Helsing. Your dad's safe. Safe to marry the woman who was trying to slay him? I mean, what if she tries it again? But this is what I've been saying all day. You have to stop the wedding. How? I can't tell that about Van Helsing, can I? He'll just move us all back to Transylvania. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know, Robin. I just wish I'd never trusted my mum again. And so... Before we move on to the vows, I must ask if any person knows any reason, any reason whatsoever, why these two should not be joined together in matrimony. No one? Are you sure? Stop the wedding! She doesn't love you. Oh, nonsense, Vlad. Of course she loves me. She sent like a ghastly animal to prove it. No, she didn't. 
It was me and Ingrid. Shut it, the lad. Oh, so the kids got us back together. Who cares? I still love you, darling. Mm. Oh, that's good enough for me. Renfield, carry on. All right, fine. But if she loves you, how come she's still getting calls from Patrick? Hey, Princess Wolfie here. Just phone to say good luck with getting your hands on the castle. Anyway, I'm just having my back waxed. Ow! I'll see you tonight for a celebration. Ow! What? Some people have no sense of humor. Come on, Ingrid. Let's go to Monte Carlo. What, to live with you and Patrick? No way. I mean, Dad might be a pain in the neck, but at least he doesn't molt. Bye, Mum. Bye, darlings. I'll see you soon. Slay any vampires. What happened to you? I nearly had him, Jono. I nearly slayed a vampire. Of course you did. I did, I swear. And the next time, I will triumph. Believe me, Jono, the name of Van Helsing will be spread far and wide. Yeah, it's the smell of Van Helsing that's spreading right now. Well, Vladdy, if it wasn't for you, I'd be off on honeymoon now with that vile, cold-hearted, treacherous woman. Why did you have to go and ruin it for me? Because, Dad, she doesn't love you. Of course she doesn't love him. She's a vampire, stupid. But it would have been so nice to have her back. Oh, Magda! Field. No. 